What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing today? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's Igor here today. I want to answer Carson's question about cell phone operators. This video has been awaited and demanded by so many comments. Here it is for you guys. Carson is asking, please make a separate video on cell phone plan and best carriers. What if your cell phone from your home country doesn't work? What are you going to do? What are your options? That's a very good question, Carlson. Amber, thank you so much for asking it. I'm going to answer it for you right now. So you are in Canada, you have your cell phone and you're like, well, what now? Can I use it here in Canada? I'll tell you this, majority of the newer phones, Samsungs and iPhones, they support all sorts of frequencies. So chances are 90% that your phone is going to work even in Canada. Now, the difficulty here is if you buy it in Canada and you go to a different country, then you have to unlock. And likewise for your phone, it might be locked to your cell phone operator. So when you're coming to Canada, make sure you unlock your phone so that it's not locked, restricted to one cell phone operator. I know they don't do that much in Eastern Europe, but they do here in Canada. And when I went to Dominican Republic with this phone, I couldn't use it there. I got a SIM card, so I had to call my company. I don't know which company I'm using. Right now I'm in, with Freedom Mobile. It used to be called Win Mobile, now it's Freedom Mobile. Basically same company. And I couldn't use it. I have to call those guys and say, hey, I need to unlock this phone. And they, they told me the code, I unlocked the phone, I put a SIM card, now it was working. If you're coming to Canada and you're wondering what are the biggest companies here for cellular phone operators? Well, first thing you're going to notice is there will be Bell, there will be Rogers, there will be Talos, there will be Freedom Mobile, there will be Mobility, there will be Kudo, there will be Lucky Mobile. Uh, what else did I miss? There is so there are so many companies here on the market. You know, for example, the Freedom Mobile was purchased by. Shaw, I believe it's Shaw, the internet provider company. There's also a Talos internet provider. All of these several companies, they also, you know, most of them have the internet as well, you know, so there is no problem with that. Now, how do you get yourself a Canadian phone? It's actually really easy. In fact, you'll be surprised. The phones are really expensive, the new phones, right? And in Canada, they're not as expensive that they might be back home and in, in other countries where majority of immigrants are coming. So they're not too expensive here, though they are still kind of costly. You could actually buy online, you know, you could get it cheaper than from those cell phone operators if you shop online a little bit more. But the reality is this, you can get a tab. So any of those companies they can sign a contract with you and they will give you a phone or they would say for free in reality it just you have to pay it off over the time there are lots of contracts you might not be used to it you might be coming from a country like me for example in ukraine and you know i just was in dominican republic you go to your shop grocery store you buy yourself a card you know you don't need to show your id nothing you just buy a sim card you plug it into your phone and you can use it you can use it, no problem. Well, here is not like that. You actually have to kind of register, you have to show your identification, you have to, you know, you cannot just go to a grocery store, get yourself a SIM card, and when it runs out, you go buy a card and you put in the number and it goes there. Now, here they are a little bit more, you know, more advanced technologies here. You need a credit card. So if you want to get <laughs> a cell phone in Canada, you need to get a credit card. So go to one of those banks, there's like BMO, TD, RBC, CIBC, what is there else? Uh, there are so many, uh, there are so many banks here in Canada, it's just like probably about five major ones. You can actually find a video I made about it. But go to one of those banks, they give credit cards to international students, they give credit cards for immigrants. Us, you know, guys who are coming to Canada, get a credit card because you're going to need it when you are getting yourself a cell phone. Now, there are many options for you and many cell phone operators. You have to choose really wisely on what you want to sign up for because in Canada, as I told you, lots of stuff is on a contract. Let's compare these companies and I'm going to compare it on my story. We can go to their websites and look at the prices and we'll come up with the solution that it's always going to be like that. Bell and Rogers and Telus are going to be more expensive. They would have a better quality of connection. They will have really good service. 
but uh, Freedom Mobile is going to be slightly cheaper. But you can go on those websites and check it out. But right now I want to share my story because I went through about three companies so far. My first company was, it was 2012, September of 2012, when I came to Canada. I went for Mobilicity. My landlord, she was from Canada, she took me to a Scarborough Town Center, STC. A Scarborough Town Center? Check it out in Toronto, it's basically, it's a Scarborough Town Center, it was like a destination of all students. <laughs> so we went in there, we found a server network provider, it was about 55 or 45, I think 45 dollars Canadian a month, and I got a ZTE garbage phone. At that time, I didn't realize what garbage it was before I realized that there is a Samsung and you know that Samsung Galaxy 4 at that time, it was just beating the hell out of that phone. So I really regretted my purchase and re pretty fast, within a few months, I decided maybe a little bit longer I stayed. I, I tried to save up money. I, I, You know, I just remember my first year in Canada. My God, guys, I did not know where I am. I did not know what I'm doing. I did not know anyone and I didn't have money. Okay, that's the biggest part. And I was worried. But I decided to get rid of that cell phone. I went for some Google phone. I don't remember that name of them. In 2014, there was new Google phone coming out. It was very good. I didn't want to go for Samsung at that time. So I went with Bell. They offered me a $95 plan per month with the contract for a few years. And it was not bad until about three months when I was using it. And I realized that my friends are using, most of my Russian friends were using Freedom Mobile. It used to be called Wind at that time. And they were paying like 40 bucks per, per month for their phones. And I was paying 95 month per, per month. And, and I got jealous. I was like, why am I paying this much? And I came to those guys and I said, I want to get out of the contract. And they said, well, too bad. You'd have to pay out the phone. So I went and I paid about 450 Canadian dollars. I canceled the, I canceled the plan. I basically bought out the phone. I went away. I cried for a little bit. Well, I didn't really cry, but I, I really felt like I was ripped off. And there is nothing I could do about it. It was a bad, bad situation, bad feeling when you're a student with no income and you know, uh, you just walked in a contract, a poor decision that I made of getting myself into that situation. You know, it was ridiculous. The contract was one thing, but then I would go over the limit of token. They would charge me 15 minutes more, $15 more. I would go over the limit on my data. They would charge $20 more, and then I would go another limit. And you know, it just went so much expensive. It, it just went unbearable expense. And I realized that I need more minutes to talk. I need more data. And it's just too expensive. I cannot afford at that time being with Bell. And I had to go. It was sad. By the way, guys, now, until now, I'm still with Freedom Mobile. These guys have been treating me well. The price, I, they fixed the tab. I mean, I paid off my phone, but the tab is the same. And I've been paying $40 ever since. Now I got a $40, basically I'm paying $40 or $45. I don't exactly remember right now, but I don't have any, I don't pay anything extra. So it's really cheap in Canada. Like my coworker right now, I'm working. She's like, hey Igor, I got about 20 GB of data with Telus. I said, well, what do you pay for your cell phone? Well, I have an internet with them. I have a phone with them saying, well, how much are you paying? She's like, oh, it's just about 290 something dollars. I was like, oh my God, that's a lot of money. You're paying close to 300 bucks for your internet, for your cell phone. Oh my God, that is expensive. All I'm saying is guys, you have to shop around. You have to really go around and see what you like more. And I'm going to do you something. I'm going to do you a good one. If you decide to go with Wind, with Freedom Mobile, this is the one that I'm using, the cheaper one. The connection is not as great, but it's good in, in it, it's good in the city. It's not good in the mountains where we go. It's it goes in Rome in there, so you you can you can still call, but it, you know the data 
doesn't always work. So it's uh, on the roaming area. So you have a special limit for roaming, and you're roaming in Canada because the server connection doesn't cover there. So that's the bad part. The good part about it is price, and another good part is I will leave a link in the description of this video for you to go and claim your ten dollar, you know, referral bonus. So I invite you to join Win Mobile. I get a $10 credit for my phone bill, so I have to pay less, and you're supporting this channel this way, and you get a $10 for that, and this video is not sponsored by them, it's just, you know, any, if, if your friend has Bell, they can give you a same kind of link, if they have Rogers, they can do it $10, everywhere is the same in Canada. But if you decide to go with them, there it is for you. I'll also leave a, you know, I'll leave a list all those companies, I only for Rogers, for Bell, and for Telus, and for Freedom Mobile. I will leave links in the description of this video. Go there, check out their cell phones, check out their plans for yourself. You can really get a phone for zero dollars, and then they just kind of they kind of take a price of the phone. They cut it down to 24 month or 36 month. So go down and read in detail if it's a 24 month contract or 36 because you might go like wow 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 i'm going with bell because they gave me a better deal and then you look at it it's like 36 month contract and if you go for wind or rogers those guys have like a 24 month contract and it looks like it's a little bit more but actually it's less because the you know, if you take $1,000 and you divide it by 24, the amount is going to be higher. If you take $1,000 and you divide it by 36, it's going to look smaller, but it's actually not, if you get what I mean. And by the time the year is over, the three years is over, you can might as well dump your phone from the window because the new version probably came out and you always want to buy a newer one, right? Yeah, that's, that was my, my reality before, but now I decided, screw that. I'm going to keep my phone for as long as I can until it goes bad and I'm forced to buy a new one and then I'll get myself the newest version of Samsung. I don't like iPhones for some reason. Guys, before we end this video, guys, thank you so much for joining the membership program for this channel. I'm looking forward to see you on the live streams exclusively for members that I'm doing every two weeks now because now you can ask me more questions about Canada and you get more out of me on the information. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to smash a like button, subscribe to this channel to see more, and we'll see you next video because my regular channel doesn't change. In fact, I'm planning to increase the frequency and amount of videos and work I do for you guys. Thank you, we'll see you next one. Have a good one.